Boeing Starliner astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, they discussed their mission for the first time since learning they will be spending another five months on board the International Space Station. That trip, again, was only supposed to be for eight days. Fox's Jonathan Seri has more from Atlanta. From their extended stay in space, NASA's astronauts are phoning home. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore making their first public remarks since finding out they'll have to spend an extra five months on the International Space Station because of safety concerns about the Boeing Starliner spacecraft that was supposed to take them back to Earth. And that's just the way it goes sometimes because we are pushing the edges of the envelope in everything that we do, and it is not easy. Williams and Wilmore launched in June for what was supposed to be an eight-day mission, but helium leaks and intermittent thruster problems led to worries that Starliner could malfunction on the journey back to Earth. And last week, after months of testing and debate, NASA made the decision to bring the ship home without the crew. It's awfully, it's awfully hard for the team, but, um, you know, it was a test flight and we didn't have confidence. The two are now scheduled to come back aboard a SpaceX flight in February, meaning their total time spent on the ISS will be just over eight months. There are so many people uh, on Earth that are sending us messages and it, it makes you feel just right at home with everybody when we're able to have those conversations with our friends and family at home. Williams and Wilmore will soon be joined by astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. The four will work together until February, making the most of a mission that has significantly changed. Part of our job is just to adapt and overcome and uh, make the best of the situation, and they've done just that. And NASA officials say Boeing already has multiple teams working on safety upgrades to Starliner 1. In Atlanta, Jonathan Searing, Fox News.